Hey guys, Black Ninja 790 Simon here in today's video. This is going to be another Black Ops 3 gameplay for you guys. In today's video, we're going to be playing Safeguard on Hunted. Now, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different today in uh, today's video. I'm actually going to be using Overkill for the very first time in Black Ops 3. Safeguard. Now, um, this is my class right here. It's got a VMP and a CUDA. Now, the reason why I'm doing this is because I wanted to use both the VMP and the CUDA in a gameplay to show you guys what they are like after their nerf, because in the most recent update, Date for Black Ops 3. Both of these guns got nerfed. The VMP got more recoil and the CUDA got its 5 hit and 3 hit kill uh, damage range uh, reduced so it doesn't get as many um, 5 shot or 3 shot kills. So basically it's going to get more hit markers. And um, I want to use these guns after their uh, nerfs just to see if they're still, you know, just as good as they were before, or if they're still worth using and stuff like that. I basically just want to test them out and stuff like that. That's kind of what I did with the uh, Vesper in one of my most recent gameplays. Is um, I used the Vesper on that TDM Nuketown gameplay because um, I wanted to see how good the Vesper was after its buff. The Vesper actually had um, the opposite thing happen to it from the VMP. The VMP got more recoil, and the Vesper got uh, less recoil. So the Vesper basically gave its recoil to the VMP and said, here you go, VMP, here's my recoil. And um, that's basically what happened. What? Okay, I hate it when that happens. I hate it when you shoot somebody, you think they're dead, and they're still alive, and they just kill you. I almost had that happen to me. But, um, yeah, I'm going to be using the VMP until this runs out of ammo, and then I'm going to be switching over to the CUDA, because, um, I just wanted to, uh, mix things up. Alright, I'll just switch over to the CUDA in my next life, it's no big deal. I'm playing Safeguard, so I really doubt I'm going to get my kill streaks. Like, this is the toughest game mode by far. Like, a UAV kills only takes 10 kills. Like, really? <laughs> like, really, Treyarch? Okay, and if I actually switched in time, that would have been a cool way to um, cl clutch up the uh, kill right there because I can just switch to another primary automatically. The reason I never really got interested in overkill is because um, I could always just pick up another weapon. I really don't want to go near that guy, but um, I, I kind of have to to get out away from him. <laughs> One thing I also like is that both of these are diamonds, which is very pretty. I really like diamond camo. I don't know why people prefer gold camo over diamond camo. Like, I mean, I understand if you have a certain taste in camo, but um, a lot of people say they like gold over diamond, which um, I actually disagree with. I actually like diamond um, a lot more, and the only reason why is just because, number one, I think that diamond's more valuable because it's harder to get diamond. And second of all, diamond also just looks nicer to me. Like, it just... It looks more pretty in a sense. I know that's why like people like gold because they think it looks more pretty, but I just think honestly diamond looks more pretty. It um is unique because not a lot of people have it, and it just looks more uh, shiny in my opinion. Because it got all the gems and stuff that's hanging around it. I think if I reload, that's when it's gonna pop around the corner. I always have that happen. Okay, this doesn't have as much ammo. Okay, so they're all climbing into that window and snatching my people up, so I need to help out here. I feel like I gotta sneeze. Oh god, no. Please don't sneeze. And if I sneeze, I'm gonna close my eyes and I won't be able to see where people are coming from. Oh, really, dude? Okay, hold on. Let me see if he... He literally just was at the corner of my eye. Like, literally the exact moment I turn around, that's when he shows up. Call of Duty logic. But, um, it's fine, though. But, um, anyways, guys, let me know what you think about the CUDA and the VMP's nerfs down below. Do you still use these things as much as you used to? What do you think about the nerf? What, what, what do you think they should have done instead? Do you think that it was good that they did this? Do you think that they, um, you know, should have done something else? Just let me know. I really want to hear your guys' thoughts below. This VMP is wrecking shop here. The CUDA I really don't like as much anymore. Like, the VMP, I still think this is a good gun. But, um, the CUDA, the damage really kind of killed the gun. Like, because, um, damage is always going to affect a gun more than its accuracy. Because accuracy, as long as you're an accurate player, you can still obliterate people. Alright, I've yet to use this purifier, and I probably can't earn another one soon. Unless I use this, so let's just pull out this purifier. Run past that guy with the PO6, and then let's start wrecking shop. I've been lately using this again because I forgot how good this thing is. Uh, I saw also Thunder using it recently. Okay, I'm not sure whether I should go that way or not. In fact, I, I should probably go down here into the building, even though it's more of like a 
pile of chaos because I'm um, at least the purifier reaches it from this range. I'm gonna get no kills with this, aren't I? Come on, man, at least let me get some kills. Okay, at least I got a kill. At least I got a single kill. <laughs> Like, I was gonna be honestly so disappointed if I ended up getting no kills. 33 and 12, actually. That's pretty decent. I didn't think I was doing that hot until I realized I looked at the score. Alright, I have yet to escort the robot, I think. So, I'm gonna do that right now, actually, and help my team out. But first, I gotta make sure that there's no enemies in my path. Let's pull up the VMP. Okay. Gotta oh, run. Dang it, man, I knew he was there. <laughs> Alright, this is probably going to be a tough end of the round. I got only, like, a minute and 16 seconds left in. I can't even move the robot because it's rebooting. I think what I'll do is I'll flank. Because that way I can flank and then I can get my teammates moving instead. Okay. Recover your health. And then rush. Because you can't rush out with no health. Dang it, man, that PO6 shoots so fast. I'm trying my best to move the robot, but once you get to this part, like, this part is probably the most toughest place to move a robot in Safeguard, because everyone just camps that catwalk, because that's literally their spawn point. They don't have to move. Like, this is probably the toughest location to move the Safeguard robot ever. Although I am going ham with the VMP, though, here. Okay, I can't even move it, so I'm not going to rush out there. It's rebooting. Alright, go back to the CUDA. Uh, oh wait, we won? Hey, we won! I didn't even know that we won. I wasn't seeing the robot move. How'd we win? I- what? I don't remember the robot moving. Wasn't it rebooting just a second ago? I, I think I'm, I'm just not paying attention either that or I'm just stupid. I did not remember the robot moving. I thought it was rebooting. <laughs> well, either way, we won. That's still really cool. I thought we were going to go into overtime there. But, um, nice. We ended up getting the um, first place on our team. Anyways, guys, this is going to be today's video. If you guys like the video, please leave a like because that helped me out a lot. And also subscribe if you're here because I really appreciate all these guys helping another video. Let me know what you guys want me to do next for Black Ops 3, you know, to see, like, you know, something new, something fresh and stuff like that. And anyways, guys, I'll see you later. Peace.